you realize what you just did? Do you have any idea? Don't be angry with us. Angry? Because of you, we have no compass. There's a storm coming in, the fog is getting thicker, and we are sailing blind. Now you tell me how you expect this to get us back to shore. You're a wonderful sailor. I have every faith you'll get us back to harmony. Oh, this is insane! All I am asking is for you to spend one night with me. Just one night of love. That is never gonna happen. I love my wife. That's what this was supposed to be about. A romantic trip to get away from me and Grace. If I'd have known you'd have been on the boat, I never would have left the dock. But you did. And now we're alone together. Wait a minute. How did you know what I had planned? What did you do to Grace? And why did she miss the boat? I kept up my end of the bargain. I told you where Sam was. What more do you want? I want you to keep Grace from getting on the boat with Sam. What did you pull, Ivy? Is Grace all right? If you did anything, anything to harm her, I swear to you. Oh, for pity's sake. I didn't pull anything. I'm sure Grace is fine. I just got here before her. No, no. There's something else. You came aboard, you heard the shower, and you assumed I was Grace. You're not making any sense, Ivy. Sense? You want sense? Okay, here. I want you. I have always wanted you. Don't you remember how it was between us? No. You loved me once, and you swore we'd always be together. How can you be like this? So immature, so selfish, stupid. Well, I'll admit to selfish. And why shouldn't I? We're all selfish in our own way. Well, because of your selfishness, I don't have a compass. And without it, I don't think I can get us back to the shore safely. There are shoals that have to be navigated. Anything could happen in the dark. Don't I know it? fog is rolling in. There's no stars to steer by. So maybe we'll just bob around, drift, find an island? You are not listening. We are in real danger here. Well, then we'll just drop anchor and wait till the fog to lift. No, I am not waiting. I'll make it worthwhile. Do you think that I could sleep with you? <laughs> you never had any trouble in the past. Well, she did. You throw you overboard. How long do you think you can fend for yourself? Huh? How long do you think you could spend time in that ocean, huh? Don't you yeah, underestimate yeah. me, yeah. Ivy. So let me up my mind to do something. Oh! Hey, Sam! Oh, oh! Oh, all right! Sam, put me down! You had your laugh! Now put me down! I wish I did find this funny. The only thing it does is make me crazy. Sam, why don't you just drop anchor? No. You get on the radio and raise the police station. Have them tell Grace that I am okay. Hey, you know what? I know my wife. She's probably still in the dock, worried sick about me. I know. I'm not getting a signal. What happened to the wires? There's no fuse. All right, Ivy, where are they? Where are what? No games. Where are the wires? What did you do with the fuses? No, I don't know what you're talking Tell about. Tell me! I threw them overboard. Oh, that is great. Just great. Got no radio. What happens if we run aground in the fog? We can't even send out a mayday. Do you realize what you just done? Oh, you are a champion sailor. I remember all those trophies you were in high school. This isn't school, Ivy. <sighs> real life. And the reality is, we're stuck out here, stranded without a compass, without a radio. All we have is each other. And you'll see that. I'll make you see that. What are you doing? I'm using this as a depth sensor. That way we can get to the shoals. If I hit a reef, I'll find another channel through them. That way, we can get back to the shore right away. You mean if this thing works the way it's supposed we to? We don't have to spend the night at sea. We can go in the harmony even in the fog. Looks 
just like your little trick, tossing the compass and screwing up the radio. Didn't amount to a whole hell of a lot, did it? <laughs> oh, the game's not over yet, Sam. There's a lot of water between us and the shore. And I intend to do whatever it takes to keep us stranded on this boat. Thanks to you. Oh, Sam. Thank goodness. Are you nuts? I didn't think. That's right. You didn't think I'd almost drown. I'm sorry. I... Hey, Ivy, don't you get it? Without me, you were dead, too. These stunts of yours are going to kill us both. I didn't think that pulling the rope would... Look, I, I don't even want to be sure. <laughs> Why don't you go below and stay there until I come up with some way to get back to Grace? Go on! Oh. I know you have a rough situation at home. You're in a loveless marriage, and I feel sorry for you. But for me, it's completely different. I am in a marriage filled with love. See this? This ring means something to me and Grace. To people like us, it's a symbol of love. And commitment. People like us. It's not the same for you and Julian. For you, trinkets or something. Grace is the love of my life, the mother of my children, and that, that is sacred. You mean because you have a child with Grace, that's what binds you to her? It's one thing, yes. A very important thing. What if you and I had had a child? child together. What are you talking about? I'm not... I just mean if we stayed together and hadn't had a child. But we didn't. You left to marry Julian and I met Grace. I wouldn't have it any other way. Lights. I'm much closer than I thought. In fact, from this point, I don't think I'm going to have much trouble negotiating the shoulder. So, things would be different if you and I had a child? Well, I've got a hot flash for you, Sam. We did have a child together. A son. Maybe now is the perfect time for you to find out. <laughs>